Um, well, I'm a young man right now, just turned 20, and, um, was a kid from Brooklyn with a, a dream of becoming a superstar. Um, I'm a brother, I'm a son, and I like to say I'm a role model in some way of being able to live my dream and inspiring the youth and other people to, to live the dream as well. So, that's what Unique is. Mother said I was singing like in a stroller and humming in my um what is it my crib. So I guess I've been singing since I was knee high. What's the first thing I do? Yeah. <laughs> um, I probably go pee and then I, I brush my teeth and wash my face. Oh, well, no, what I did do was start to look for my own apartment. So that was a big investment for me. I, I made I made an investment to make sure that I'm living good and at the same time getting stuff from my family. You know, it's crazy. I, every time before a show, they ask me, and I, I think... I don't know, maybe in the future I have more stuff to add, but right now it's just some hot tea, honey. I, I, I like Mike and Ike's and candy and, um, yeah, but like before show I usually get real nervous, so I, I don't eat and I just drink water and tea. As long as they have nervous, I can check myself out once I'm dressed and there's enough space for everybody to chill and relax. I'm good. I have a lot of performance concert DVDs, so I have like R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, Usher, Rihanna, James Brown. Um, but some of the movies I have is like E.T., The Goonies, um, Crooklyn is another favorite. Uh, I, li I like Disney movies too, I don't know if that's corny, but I got everything from Little Mermaid to, to Jurassic Park and all those type of things. It's okay. You think you think it's kind of corny or something, or do you? Do you <laughs> have people who are like, why you got those DVDs? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Tiana. Um, it it was dope. I, I felt good being there. Um, I heard she was a fan of mine for a while, and they kept telling me, "Yo, her Sweet Sixteen is coming up, and she really wants you to be there." So it was kind of last minute when I found out about it, but I said, I, I, I think she deserves to have me come in. And um, I had fun. Faith Evans was there, Kid Cudi, um, DJ Webstar, Ron Brown. It, it felt like a New York comeback in a way. I mean, I don't know if you can tell when I'm performing because it sort of goes away, but like right before... I get nervous, and I think it is a good thing because I care about what I do, and I love my music, so I'm nervous and, and hoping that people accept it, and, and once they, they're good, I, I zone out. Yeah, I mean, I think about that all the time, and I think being an artist is, is almost a gift and a curse. Um, in a way, and, and not that because I love what I do and I love my fans, but it's almost like artists go from being no nobody and working hard to to live their dream and to touch people and to reach people, but at the same time, 
a lot of things get taken away from you, like going to the mall or being able to ride the train or, or just be out like every other, every other person. So uh, I think that would be the hardest thing is losing, losing uh, normality to gain and, and live your dream. Um, I got the opportunity to work with Ryan Leslie, who's extremely talented. Like, Ooh, yes, yes. So, um, I worked with Sean Garrett, and he's worked with one of my favorite people, Beyonce. And um, he did that new Mario record. Um, oh, don't I lace you with the Gucci? That um, I worked with Bangladesh, Eric Cupton, Claude Kelly. It's someone that I work closely with on my album, and he's going up right now doing records to Kelly Clarkson, Britney Spears, um, Whitney Houston, so shout out to Claude. And who else? Um, Rico Love. And that's just to name a few, you know what I mean? I, I got the opportunity to work on my album and do a lot of writing and just be real involved, so I'm, ha I'm happy about that. Um, well, the title that I want to go with right now is called The Unique Show. And, um, basically when you hear Unique and you hear a show, you think of an event and you think of a big stage. And like you said, the part of, part of becoming famous and, and living your dream is being in front of everybody. They're judging what you wear, how you look, what you got on, what you're going through. And our business is just on, um, Front Street, I guess. So with the unique show, I'm putting out all my emotions and everything that I'm going through, everything that I went through on the stage, and and I guess people will be able to view and, and judge me for themselves once they come to the show. I try to, I, I try to live up to that every day, you know what I mean, and and set the example for my fans and people will follow me. Like you stay true to yourself and and be who you are. That's all there is to life, you know what I mean. You. You go out being who you are and doing what you love. I think that's all that matters. I love to work with Brandy. I think she's so dope. And um, I think her, her voice and, and what it's done to my career and how I sing it, it it's been, had, has a major impact. Um, I said I like to work with Kanye. Uh, in the future, maybe even Rihanna, Gwen Stefani, Fabulous. Um, you know, I, I just want to work with people that have a different sound and, and, um, came out, came out the box being who they were and, and, and weren't trying to fit the mold of someone else. You know what I mean? All the artists that I look up to and, and inspired by have their own sense of style, their own style of music and, and inspire people to change the way they dress, to change the way music should be made. So... I'm just excited when I'm big enough to be like calling these people up and be like, yo, I want to get in the studio. What's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, well, the only song that's out right now is um, Beat of My Drum. And we have a performance video up on YouTube. I don't know if you got a chance to see it. But um, that's considered, I guess, my buzz record. It got leaked. And... I've decided to put it up on my website, so it's been doing good so far and playing on radio stations, and um, it's on it's now on the Music Choice channel, so I'm excited really? about that. Yeah. I haven't wow, checked it okay. yet, but a lot of my fans have been telling me, yo, I just heard you on Music Choice and blah, 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 so that's cool. And, and, and we're, me and my team, Star Pop Media, um, are right. about to do a whole viral campaign, so you might be seeing some more YouTube videos real soon, and... and hear more music from me. I, I'm working real hard, like aside from what the music industry does, I own a label, um, Star Pop Media, with my team, Make, my manager, my partner, Patrice Carter, and, um, you know, we're, we're our own label, and, you know, we're planning some things for the school year, and giving back, continuing to give back with my non-profit program, and, um, I'll be visiting schools and talking to the youth, and we got some shows coming up, and I want to align myself some more with bigger organizations like the Boys and Girls Club and, and things of that nature. So there's so much going on, and I'm just excited for it to all happen.